Hey guys, Sea to Eat Review here with Karina. Karina, telephone folks at Sea to Eat Review. What can we expect from your show? What is it when it's on? All that other good stuff. Right, okay, so Bone Cage is both online and live streaming. Oh, cool. We have one show only happening in person at UniSA McGill campus at the Hartley Playhouse. Yes. In this, in this in-person show, you're going to see immersive technology integrated with live performance. Oh, so there this sounds will be, fascinating. There'll be 3D sound, video production. There will be integrated gaming components where you unlock a game via a QR code. Yes. And you will partake in the performance as well. All your answers will be collated uh, anonymously and will be projected as part of the sonography at the end of the show. Bone Cage is a very serious show that deals with domestic violence. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. And you've taken such a broad aspect to the show. It's just not all a, a stand there and talking show. No, no. So people can watch this at home? Yes. Yeah, so then we have two live streaming events, but those ones are exclusively for schools. Okay. Okay. So those ones you have to be in grade 10, 11 and 12. Yes. If you want to come, so get talking to your teachers and come along. You'll also get to participate in the uh, gaming components as well. Yes. And you'll, you'll see the live stream through four cameras all projected so you'll get part get to partake in all the immersive aspects as well have you done this show before the show how well, this is the first time for the adelaide fringe oh my goodness but the show has been in development since 2019 yes and i'm working with a team of creative researchers from uni sa yes and my theater company stage secrets and professional actors to bring this together and we have the support of the Zara Foundation mm -hmm. who, do, who works very closely with women who are escaping domestic violence yeah. uh, situation so it's all research informed yep. and uh, it really talks it really delivers a stark and surreal depiction of a woman trapped inside an abusive relationship and so, the stigma around the choices she makes and the victim blaming that happens as a result. So is that where the crowd participates in the yeah. choices that are made, are they? Yeah, so the crowd will get to um, answer some questions around what they think needs to happen, yep. mainly should she stay or should she go, yep. and the show will progress um, oh my goodness. Like So it's definitely worth that seeing, but powerful. one show only. When's the show again, sorry? It is Thursday the 24th of February at yes. 6 o'clock yes. at McGill UniSA. One hour? Uh, it's a 35 minute production with some questions that unfold at the end. So yeah, one hour. Guys, check it out. I'll put it in my notes. Karina, thank you very much for your time. All right, thank you. Hey guys, see do eat review here with, I am not even going to try to pronounce a name, it's in Sanskrit. Yes, Radhe. So, Radhe, that yes. is fantastic. <laughs> You're never going to have anyone name that at all, are you? Probably not. Not Let's here. Let's go to the fringe shows. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm from No Strings Attached Theatre of Disability, and our first show is called Ignition Point. It's at the Woodville Town Hall. It's by uh, about 40 of our actors. They all live with disability and they produce four vignettes all together in one hour. Uh, there's dancing, there's singing, there's some body percussion, there's a film aspect um, and it all comes from the themes that they decide. So it's about connection, it's about community, it's about when you think you're helping someone but you're actually not helping them at all. Yes. So it has good ebbs and flows there's funny parts and so it's based on real life things, yeah is it's it? about whatever they want to talk about yeah. and real life events yeah and it's fully accessible wheelchair accessible yeah. we're going to have uh, for one of the shows sign interpretation oh, we're cool. going to have audio description available yep so yeah just trying to make it as accessible to has as this show been done before possible. so this is a show we do every year in the okay. fringe but it uh, changes, changes every up. year yep. yeah so it's whatever they want to talk about for the year. So obviously with the ongoing COVID, yes. they wanted to talk more about, it's not as dark as the, the year before that, <laughs> uh, 2021, but for 2022, more about connection, community, mm -hmm. and just remembering that. And you have a second show as well We do. So at the lab, we have a show called Same Same 2.0. Yes. It's going to be on Zoom and in person with Singapore dancers who live with disability. Yes. And it's going to be beautiful with all of the screens and really oh, immersive that is awesome. and intimate. Yes. So when's that show on? That, that is the fifth. <laughs> oh, I can read it. I can put it in my notes. Fifth of as well. March, twelfth of March, and ignition points first and second of March. There we go, guys. I think I, I am so like out of 
the bell. <laughs> You're gonna hear every interview I'm doing, you hear the bell going, it's because I'm all over the shop. But thank you very much for your time, guys. I'll chuck it up in my notes. Check it out, guys. Something a little bit different as well. This one's on Zoom. And in person. Oh. So you're in person, but you see the screens on Zoom yes. live from Singapore. There you go. Something completely different. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Guys, see to eat review here with Leah. Hello. I thought she had a little bub care there, but uh, Voices, tell me all about it. So Voices is a modern reimagining of Little Women, but before you think, oh no, not another modern take on a classic, um, in this show we ask, what if the story isn't what you thought it was? So Louisa May Alcott, who wrote the story, here's our precious book, mm. her life was actually quite tragic, and a Little Women is idyllic, and what we've done is we've woven back in the darker realities of her life, mm -hmm. um, asking the question, yeah, what if the stories we tell ourselves, we tell others, aren't what we thought them to be? So we've got a... Um, powerhouse all-female cast yes. playing the four sisters we explore um, the joys of family life but also how do we survive trauma and tragedy um, sounds very deep it is quite deep I was gonna say it's it it not a light show yes no and um, so these dolls are from Syria um, oh. children refugees tell their stories and it's stitched into a doll like a yep. living story oh my um, so one of our characters is a journalist and she travels the world yep. collecting stories oh. um, yeah so these are our precious Anna dolls, they're called. They gorgeous. Yeah. Whereabouts is this show being played? So our show is in our own theatre, which is called Tyndale Theatre, which mm -hmm. is located in Salisbury, and we've turned the whole thing into the attic okay. above the family home. So it's quite an immersive that, yeah, that, that experience. That sounds creepy. It's, but it's a nice attic. <laughs> it's a nice. It's creepy. a nice attic. Um, yeah, and, and the audience will get to just watch this family drama unfold mm -hmm. um, as the sisters celebrate their sisterhood, but also um, get to the bottom of a lot of family trauma. Oh, what's the dates and the time? So on? dates are 4th, 5th, 11th and 12th of March, 7.30pm. Oh, 7.30pm, go for about yeah. an hour? Uh, it's a longer show, so it's a straight theatre play, mm -hmm. so there will be an intermission. Excellent. Um, so you get to stretch your legs before yes. heading back into our attic. Probably not one for the kiddos then? Um, I'm, I'm just loving oh, this please, doll. Please, you may touch oh, them, go God. for it. Look at that. Um, I used to work for an airline, so oh, look at that. that I that's got, an airline that, one, that's yes. That's the airline one, I love it. Um, kids can come, but yep. it, it is a little bit more little women for adults yes um yeah bring some tissues we recommend oh really but yeah it gets a bit gutsy but in a good way in, in, good a, thera gutsy. in a therapeutic healing in kind a, of way the have you done yeah. this show before um no this is the first time we're doing it oh my goodness something yeah. completely and am i noticing an accent there as well oh yes it's a long story. Oh. I'm fake British. I was born in Africa, in Kenya. It's a long story. Yeah. <laughs> That's an interview for another That's day, another guys. another day, yes. Check it out. You're going to say the dates again yes. and the times. So, Go. Voices by Fifth Business Theatre Company, March 4th, 5th, 11th and 12th, 7.30 p.m. I'll chuck check it up it in the notes, guys. Amazing. And then you can go check it out for yourself. Yes. It's set in an addict. It's yes. not that creepy, <laughs> but it's something a little different as well, guys. Check yeah. it out. Little women lovers yes. and, and not lovers, and I guess. And not lovers, yes. Hey, welcome. Thank you much for your time. You're very welcome. Cheers. Thank you. Guys, I am with Georgia. Georgia, welcome to See Do Eat Review. What show do you have for us today? I have got the, the Georgia Hogan Experience 2.0. It's about my life and my story. It's a lot of the whole prospect. Prospect. And your story from from uh, when and to when? About my life growing up till your now. Your life growing up till now. And my own original song I've written myself. Yourself? Yes. Have you done this show before? Yes, uh, this is my third print show. Really? Yes. And how did it go the last time? Uh, it was amazing. Amazing? And yeah. have you done different things for the show now? Or? Yeah, different things. I find it really hard to get my music out there, more promoters, so yeah. just trying to get, do what I can to get, to get there. But, but I wanted to show, just because you're in an orchard, you can do anything to set your mind to. I can't believe, like, I don't have the guts to go up on stage and in front of people and you do that. Yeah. That's I, amazing. I've been performing since the age of 10. Yes. 8 to 10 in public. Yeah. And I do busking in the Rundle Mall. Busking in Rundle Mall as well. Guys, you might have even seen Georgia in Rundle Mall. Whereabouts is the show playing at, Georgia? Uh, Prospect? Prospect at like the hall. Uh, at the hall? Oh, what's the date? Uh, the 19th and 20th of March. Uh, 19th and 20th of February and in March as well. What time's that? 1.45 and 2.30. Guys, I'm going to chuck that up in my notes. You can go check out Georgia on the 19th or 20th of March. There's four shows. Four shows? Oh, my goodness. There you go. I'll chuck it all up in my notes. 
and uh, see how she goes. Hero life story, man. Oh, I'm sure it's going to be fascinating. Thank you. No worries. Take care, Georgia. Thank you. Too. Back with Georgia, guys. 19th, 20th of February. 12th of March. 12th of March. 19th of March. 19th of March. There we go. And Georgia's going to have some music for us as well. Georgia, go for Georgia, it. Hit play when you're ready. Let's go, guys. Go I feel alright. I'm going to die. Oh, smoke. It is not gonna pick up Don't let me Then I'll relate to you I lie Ain't gonna have really regret I don't have a good time Bested on me and woman, somebody that love of us. Oh, oh, to the great end, to the late end, bet you just good. Oh, oh, to the water, to the man in the sky. Oh, 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 to the ocean, to the attraction, come ahead to the death. Oh, oh. Georgia, fantastic. Thank you very much, guys. That's one of the songs Georgia sings, and she sang on camera. I couldn't even do that.